Something that everybody wants to know is what is Donald Trump's strategy in the ongoing race to create and deliver a COVID-19 vaccine? Amidst the ongoing pandemic, what the world is looking for is a coronavirus vaccine, since only a vaccine would do enough to tame the COVID-19 virus and prompt the human immune system to defeat it. Donald Trump is giving way to a divided world order between those who have a clear-cut China policy and those who are still clueless about how to tackle the irresponsible giant. Thus, while Trump announced that the USA is cooperating with India in vaccine development, he has royally snubbed the recent European Union summit for raising funds to land a COVID-19 vaccine. US President Donald Trump is done with the European Union over how the intergovernmental organization has repeatedly succumbed to Chinese influence. The EU is a divided lot with no certain China policy, and Hungary, a European Union member state, has even announced that it will join hands with China in opposing Taiwan's WHO membership. The European Union has no certain policy or coherent stand on how to deal with this issue as it is deeply divided from within. In fact, the European Union has become a mere liability. As a bloc of nations, it has failed to stand up for the interests of its own members like Italy, which are enfeebled with the coronavirus outbreak, and when it came to hitting out at Beijing over its misinformation campaign, the EU chickened out watering down the report criticizing China at Beijing's behest. Later, the European Union published a friendship letter and Chinese state media censored it to exclude the mention of coronavirus pandemic. But the EU didn't protest even that, furthering the internal dissensions within the European Union. The EU's foreign policy chief has himself said, Developing a joint EU approach to superpowers is never easy, as each member state has its own viewpoints and sensitivities. And China is no exception. What's more, China is not shy about sometimes playing on these differences. Trump knows that the EU is a divided lot, one that doesn't have the coherence or the commitment to get together and formulate a set policy even when the pandemic has killed more than a lakh people within the European continent itself and Beijing is taking full advantage of such glaring gaps to influence the bloc. Clearly, the divide and rule strategy has reaped benefits for China when it comes to dealing with the EU, but the EU still remains divided. Therefore, when the European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen held an online conference through which the European Union raised over 8 billion US dollars. US President Donald Trump simply skipped the meeting, though the US administration did pledge 2.4 billion US dollars for the summit. Media reports were critical of Trump, and it was being fear-mongered that the United States is boycotting global cooperation efforts to develop a COVID-19 vaccine. But Trump has a bigger plan. The US President is paving the way for close cooperation with India on the vaccine development front. He even tweeted, I am proud to announce that the United States will donate ventilators to our friends in India. We stand with India and Narendra Modi during this pandemic. We're also cooperating on vaccine development. Together, we will beat the invisible enemy. From this remark, we know that the United States is collaborating with India in the field of vaccine manufacturing because India excels at manufacturing vaccines and other pharma products. India leads the world in the production and exports of vaccines. Therefore, when a vaccine is found, it is inevitable that India will be manufacturing vaccines for most nations across the world. It was believed that American Big Pharma would trump the vaccine market. However, Donald Trump tweeting and retweeting his tweet on vaccine cooperation with India, apart from making other hints during his press conferences, shows that the US may open up to affordable Indian-made vaccines. Trump may ensure it, as US elections are near, and smooth delivery of cheap and effective vaccine shots could raise his chances at being re-elected. China, on the other hand, has become synonymous with defective products given the kind of defective testing kits and masks it recently exported to the entire world, and thus India will occupy the spotlight as a mass manufacturer when a vaccine is found. Trump is also cooperating with India because, among the 50 vaccines in the early stages of development, Oxford University's vaccine is leading the race. In fact, it is the most promising vaccine at this point. 
The development of the vaccine was originally intended for another coronavirus, the MERS virus, but suddenly the COVID-19 pandemic entered the scene and hence the Oxford University scientists enjoy a huge advantage over other researchers on the coronavirus. This vaccine, which is currently undergoing human trials, has an India connection as Oxford University has chosen the world's biggest vaccine maker, the Serum Institute of India, for mass manufacturing this vaccine. This vaccine is a promising breakthrough as it has already shown signs of success in the case of monkeys and other animals. Oxford University says that the human trials will be completed by September and we can expect that by June or July, we will know if it is working. The Pune-based Serum Institute of India has already started producing 4 crore units of the vaccine. Under America's Operation Warp Speed, Trump may tap into the potential of this collaboration between the Serum Institute of India, the biggest manufacturer of the vaccine, and the Oxford University, the leading researcher towards a coronavirus vaccine. Now that Britain is also out of the European Union, Trump doesn't really have to even negotiate with the divided bloc that is drowning in Chinese influence. He will interact directly with the United Kingdom, which being a non-European Union member, has really no option but to bolster its ties with the US. India fits in perfectly as the country which will produce millions of vaccines to pull the US out of its woes. This is why Trump is sidelining a seemingly pro-China European Union and cooperating with the United Kingdom and India instead.